You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and today we're here at Steve Marshall Ford, where they've been doing some fundraising for Nanaimo SPCA. Today on Go Island, BIU's culinary program. A theater student emerges into the spotlight, and we meet the Fernwood Bubble Man. All that and more today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and we're here today at Steve Marshall Ford, where they have a big check to hand over to Nanaimo SPCA. I know their goal was to raise $10,000. We're going to find out just how close they came. We're also going to talk to the shelter manager, Leon Davis, to find out what that means to Nanaimo SPCA. We might even meet a couple of pets that might turn into be your next best friend. But now, first, we're going to head over to VIU, where Ray Ann LaPlante introduces us to a culinary student. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and we're here at Steve Marshall Ford for the big check presentation. Ryan, you guys surpassed your goal of $10,000. We, $10, we sure did, yeah. Uh, the community really rallied around the event, and uh, we managed to raise $14,000, and you know, we're, we're hoping to get to ten. dollars so we're very excited about it, for sure. And that's going to make a huge difference for the life and the animals at the SPCA. What, what, why did you guys want to do this? Um, well, I've been an animal lover all my life, and um, you know, grew up on a farm in South Africa, so I appreciate animals and pets of all varieties and shapes. And um, as a dealership, we've got a lot of people involved in the SPCA and animal lovers um, on board. And uh, long story short, um, we've supported a lot of dealers, or a lot of um, businesses and, and charities and stuff over the years and different organizations, and we've never done anything for the SPCA. Um, so we thought uh, we'd, we'd do something for them this January. And a um, bit of a personal story that prompted it. Uh, my dog Kobe here um, was 10 years old. It's the love of our life. And uh, he, he got out on Halloween on a snowy evening, and he was gone for three or four days and um, told the SPCA about it and they searched diligently and uh, they found him. Unfortunately, he'd been hit by a car and he was on Dunster Road and uh, his hip was injured, but long story short, I got my, my pup back and uh, we've enjoyed another four wonderful years with him since. And uh, as you can see, he's still doing great. So, um, so a personal touch on, on why we wanted to do it. Yeah, and, and you know, the SPCA does that kind of stuff. They help all sorts of animals that are you know, they don't necessarily knew, they didn't probably know you were the owner at the time, but the dog needed medical assistance and they were there. And I imagine that's a lot of where this kind of money is going to go to helping that they're kind of so, situation. They're so selfless there and the work they do is, is amazing. And if you've ever been to that place, um, you know, animals can't speak for themselves and to have human representation, let's say, is awesome. And uh, they don't just help cats and dogs, you know, there are donkeys, cats, chickens, horses. We're there for everybody all over the island, so uh, it's a great cause. Well, thank you to you guys for doing that. I think it's an amazing thing that you've done. And we're going to actually head to the Nanaimo SPCA and find out what this money is going to mean to them and the animals there. But first, we meet the Bubble Man in Fernwood. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and we're here at Nanaimo SPCA right now in the cat room with shelter manager Leon Davis. Leon, tell us what this kind of donation means for the SPCA. Uh, I, I, uh, where do I even start? Uh, donations like this don't come along very often. Um, as you know, last year we closed down for about six weeks. Uh, we had a ringworm outbreak, which um, was difficult on all of us and all of the animals, and financially it was really, really difficult. It uh, cost us about $20,000 and lost revenue and medical expenses to get the animals all better again. And We've been battling to kind of get out of that deficit ever since. Uh, people were really generous over Christmas, and that really helped. Um, and we come into the new year, and we have a whole bunch of new struggles for 2013, but I'm still thinking back to 2012. and. Oh my goodness, this happens, and $14,000 means that we can now put that to rest. All of our bills can be paid. We're into 2013. We can start focusing on moving forward, and it's a huge weight off of my chest, and it means that we can continue to provide the best service and the best care to all the animals that, in the community that are abused, neglected, and abandoned. So my gratitude is just, I can't even tell you. That's awesome. Well, and it goes to help little animals like this one, Callie here, like who Callie. is looking for a home. Callie's up for adoption. She's a senior cat. We're going to meet a lot of these little animals that are looking for homes and maybe find some homes for them if people are out there looking for a new best friend. But first, we're going to take a short break. Still ahead on Go Island, Bellinas High School's theater production of Beauty and the Beast. Solar power hits the Colwood community and we take a road trip to Saratoga Speedway. All that and more still ahead on Go Island.
You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here in Nanaimo SPCA cat room where I've met Connor. He's actually a super friendly cat. The light from the camera I think is intimidating him a tiny bit. They say he's about two years old and he basically would be great with anybody. You definitely want to come and meet him and see just how friendly he is for yourself. I had the pleasure of meeting a theater student who stepped out of the shadows into the spotlight. The Bellina Secondary School's theater production of Beauty and the Beast runs March 6th, 8th, and 9th with a 7 p.m. curtain, and there's also a 2 p.m. matinee on the 9th. It's time to throw things down to Suchetta Singh, who tells us how the community of Colwood is a little bit more energy efficient. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and that is Duke, one of the many pets waiting for you at Nanaimo SPCA. Leon, it's not just the financial contributions that are so important, it's also volunteering. Absolutely, not everybody can afford to uh, contribute, but something that's just as valuable as money is time. Uh, so we have a bunch of volunteer programs. If people are interested, they can sign up online at spca.bc.ca forward slash Nanaimo. Click on the volunteer tab and all the information is there. We have dog walking programs, we have cat and small animal care programs, we have helping out maintenance in the shelter. Uh, we have foster programs. There's just so many ways you can get involved. So uh, jump online and have a look or pop into the shelter and we can give you some information here. We'd love to have you. And what can you tell us about Duke here? Duke is a five-year-old flat-coated retriever shepherd mix. He is a bundle of energy. He knows so many tricks. He can roll over, he can sit, he can beg, he can kind of sit. It's amazing. He's really, really intelligent. Uh, he has so much energy, though, so he really keeps us busy out in the yards and our dog walkers and our staff. So he's looking for a really active home. They're going to be able to take him out, you know, running and playing and stuff probably a couple several times a day uh, but he's wonderful he's really really intelligent and he's really loyal we love him love him love him love awesome. you so he would make a perfect best friend for somebody and now you know where to find him it's time now to take a road trip with Kate Bergen Well, I found another beautiful cat just waiting for a forever home at Nanaimo SPCA. That pretty much brings us to the end of this episode of Go Island. Thanks for watching.